In this video, I'm going to show you how to use assembly module to put all the parts together for your hoist, as you can see on this slide. So let's start the solid edge. Once you start solid edge, you go to new and select the GB metric assembly. In the assembly module, you click on this one if you don't have the reference line. Okay, then we go to part library where you can find your folder in which you have all the files in all the models, including the subassembly. The first file I'm going to put in is shaft. The second file I'm going to put in is curly. So you move to the middle of the hole of curly. Once it appears, click, and you move to the sharp and click. You'll see these two are aligned to each other. The next is to move this curly onto shaft. But to do that, when two circles appear, click. So we can do line that one with this one now we need to move this pulley to the middle so we need to find the vision shape here that is the planar line that is the axle line which is the first one is the second one so to push the pulley into the middle we need to add the second one Just click this one now you have the dimension box here you can into the figure you want to move. I have done the calculation for my model, so I put that one bigger in. Then you can see if I click on select, the pretty is right in the middle. All right. The next is to place sharp worship. Sharp washer is a given part. Okay, so we do the same using use extra line. Okay, then align this one. Then the next is see whether we can use. Mate, select one and the surface here, yeah. uh, then select the end, click. So it is there. We do the other side, double click. Okay. So if the flash it doesn't work for you. You just have to click X on. Then you can see the excess appears. Click. Click. Right. Okay. We need to change it to mate. Select one surface. Turn it around. Leave your mouse for a short period of time. You have this small pairs indicator. You just right click. You have drop down menu, which allows you to choose the end surface of the pretty Then click. Select. See. The washers are there. Okay. Next is to place the plates in. Go to part library, find the plate. So the plate is also a given part. Just make sure you have this name as it is. Don't change the name. Then you can move to the, so the central hole. If the flash bit allows you to pick up the central hole, then just do this. Otherwise you have to go there to select the, uh, Excel line. 
So go to the chart. The plane now is aligned with the chart. The next is to align this outside the plane with a groove, inside groove here. Okay, then we move to the second plane, double click. Okay, see whether you have access to the pixel line. Okay, you do, and click, and go to the sharp click. This time, you need to align this one with a glue there, click. So we have a two plates in the position. Next is to add pin brushing circuit subassembly to these three holes. Double click. So this is a subassembly mirror to the brushing and click. Uh, mirror to the hole here. It is highlighted. Okay, click. Next is to see whether you can highlight, move to closely highlight the circle like this. Okay, click. So we need actually sign ratio between that one and this surface, the surface of the plane. So again, if you cannot find the plane, you wait the mouse indicator appears and right click, then you see you have access to different item. So that is the one you choose. So it's there. You do more, double click, and see whether I can choose the pushing access and go this access, then whether you have access to this surface area. Okay, click. So click. Okay, that's done. And last one, double click. Uh, Axel alignment, not this one, that one, okay. Okay, click. Click. You may notice this pin assembly is not aligned with the hole of the other one. So in order for us to do that, so click on this one. Uh, then no, okay, that, uh, and click on this one. So they are now all aligned to each other. All right. So the next one is we're going to put the circle here. So this is the Sharp circuit. That's one. We'll see whether it can have the axle alignment appears. If you don't, here, you just select axle align. Okay, then you have that one align. Sharp click. Then we can use mate. to make service with this service. Okay. We can add one more sharp circuit. So go to 
XLI. Wait for this excess appears. Then move to this shaft and excess appears. Click. Then we move to the now is it mate to mate that surface with a that surface. So you can have the circuits assembled. Right, before we move on for the other things, we need to actually make sure the reference plane of the plates are this aligned with the aligned with the reference planes of the shaft. So to do that, we need to actually bring up the reference plane of the one of the plane. To do that, we go to select and you select this plane. When you highlight it and right click, you have this drop down menu. Click on this show high components. Click on this reference plane. Okay, click OK. Now you see we have a two sets of reference plane. One is for the sharp, the other one is for the plane. So we need to actually use this mate to mate the reference plane of the sharp with the reference plane of the planes. You'll see a bit upside down because the front is here and the hole should be bottom there. So we have to just click on flip, get the position right. Right. Okay, the next is we are going to place the cable onto the pulley. So we go to part library again, double click cable. Right. So to get the cable, we have to follow the coin system. So click on this one and make the on the system here. Then we go there using XO align. You're going to select Z axis, okay, with a Z axis here. You have to right click and see that is the right one. Okay, then click. Now the cable is moved in there. Right, X, X, Z, sorry, Z axis are aligned, but we need to align one of this axis, Y axis. Click. Okay, with the x-axis, click. Then you see the cable sets in to the right position. So just click on select. Uh, we can hide the reference plane of the uh, Find right click and hide it. Okay, so it's, it's more clear. The next step is to put the bolt here. Right. So we go to the part library, find the bolt. Double click. In order to place the bolt into the hole here, 
and uh, make sure it is centered. There are two ways. One is the same way. One way to place the place the curly. The other one is to use a different command. Is called centered. So this one you have to make sure this drop down menu select as a double and click. Right. And uh, this is the other side. Click. Okay. Then we move to the click and the bolt one side. And move to the other side. Okay. They are now centered. Then we just have to have one more command to make this one X align with this hole. So we go to X align. So that that one. And so that is home. So the bolt sets in the middle of two plates. Right. Then we can move on to place the washer in there. So bolt washer. Double click. Excellent. one. That one, mate, so, and the surface in the surface. Another one, excellent. Just hide here. Excellent. With this bolt, click and go to mate surface. A surface. Okay. Then we can put hook some. Find hook model. Double click. If you can find the XR line, okay, click, uh, click. Otherwise, you can choose the XR line, full zip, true zip. Now, this time, you can do the same to place that right in the middle, which is centered. This time we're going to choose the bold first. Okay. Uh, one end, second end. So it says in the middle. The next is to make sure the hook is a straight. So we need like, to use the same way we did for the plate and the uh, shaft, which select, right click, and get the reference plane PS here, click OK. So now we need actually mate That reference plane with the one of that one. If it's upside down, so flip. That's it. So we have two more parts in which are the nuts. Go to library, find the nut, double click. See where we can access um, of the bolt. 
can shape the run. And, okay, we need to use the mate. That error. One and after they played. Okay. If this others are inside now, so just have to make sure you find the racial shape. Okay. Uh, to find another nurse, double click it. No. So the, the way to do a sand is the same. XO line first. Really? So with a bolt, click this surface and move it around that surface and select. So the hoist assembly is now. Okay, that's it for this video.